Kathleen and the Mogul. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Today, we are going to be talking about how to search and find grants. And when I tell you it's simple and easy, it is so simple and so easy. A lot of times we make things so complicated when it doesn't have to be. When we uh, think of it, a lot of the times we are, you know, out there paying for things that we don't need to pay for. You may have heard people are out there selling grant lists and um, it's, it's great if it's applicable to you um, or if you just want convenience. But it's always amazing to be able to do something on your own so you don't have to rely on anyone else. And I'm going to provide you with the resources that you need so that you don't have to rely on anyone. I always like the scene when they say, um, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach him how to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. I'm not going to keep you anymore. I'm just going to dive on in and we're going to talk about how to search and find grants. So I'm going to be talking about four different types of grants that you can find. There are so many more grants out there, but I'm just going to hit on these four because I don't want this video to be too long. But if this is something that you're interested in, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and even share with someone that may find this vid video beneficial as well. So we're going to be talking about retail grants, grocery grants, uh, bank grants, and even corporate grants. I may add in another one, which is the federal one, because it's a little easier. But um, I am. I'm going to add that one in. That's going to be our bonus one, the federal grants. Um, so let's dive in. And as you see, I'm just on Google. And I'm going to type in the first one, which is going to be retail, which is going to be our Walmart grants. And as you see, I have look this up <laughs> look this up to no end um but um you want to always check the grant eligibility i always talk about checking the eligibility making sure you are even eligible for it as much information as you can read up on make sure that you do that so you want to learn about their given their given priorities review the pro program guidelines and then you will apply for the grant so a little bit about the a uh, Walmart grant, um, it, you can get anywhere from $250 to $5,000. What I love, love, love about the Walmart grant is that you can get up to 25 different grants. And that's, if you get $5,000 25 times within the calendar year, that's up to $125,000. Dollars. So you may be thinking, okay, well, five thousand is not that much. I don't know who you are, but you may be saying, <laughs> you may be saying that. But if you can get up to one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars, that is amazing. Um, so yeah, we've taken a look at the Walmart grant. I encourage you to look through this, apply, um, and go from there. What I have learned is that when it comes to the grants with Walmart, you need to get in touch with a store manager. That's how you get approved. You just need to go in there, you'll go in there, um, ask for them, get their contact information. Sometimes store managers are hard to find, but when you're trying to get $5,000, <laughs> work me, work me, honey. <laughs> so yes, um, that's, just a, that's just a fun fact that you may need to know um, about that. So another one that we may think about is when we, we talk about Walmart, if you don't shop at Walmart, you may shop at Target. If you're like me, you shop at both. So we're going to look for um, the Target grant that they have available. And so it's the same thing. You're going to click on the one that applies. With this particular grant, I'm familiar with this. Um, as well, with them, you it's so simple, their, their grant application. What you're going to do is, again, just look at this information um, and get the grant. So let me show you this. They actually give you a gift card. So this is how simple it is. This is how simple when I tell you these different applications are and that you don't have to be afraid of them. This is, this is how simple it is. You just print it out. It actually for your name, your organization. Done. 
amount requested and it goes up to $500, done. It asks you your organization's address, street name, city, state, contact person, phone number, email address, and how you're going to use the gift card. And then you put in your EIN. Now, this is for um, 501c3s or nonprofits. This is... This is for um, those particular individuals that are looking for um, for grants. But can you see how simple this is? This takes about a minute, five minutes if you write slowly. <laughs> like, it's so simple, you guys. Like, I just want to bring this to your attention. I wanted to pull that one up because, yeah, uh, we we got this. We, we got it. Is, is up from there. Um, now we're going to talk about grocery stores. Um, most grocery stores have a grant that you can, um, if you can think of it. Like, I'm going to go with Kroger. Um, Kroger grants. Right here. Um, I don't know why it did that. But let's try it again. y'all can see I'm having a little technical difficulties. Hopefully it doesn't do it again. There we go. It's working. <laughs> Just a little hiccup. Um, so yeah, so you will take a look. Every website or every grant that you go to, make sure you read. Reading is fundamental. It's so important that you read so that you know what it is that they're requiring of you. You know if you're even eligible. Just make sure you read this information and go over everything. And it tells you everything that you need to know about, you know, who they're giving, who they're giving to, um, how you can be a recipient. So just make sure that you are taking the time to read this information. I know sometimes, you know, we don't have the time, but in your spare time when you're applying, just just take the time to read. Another one we're going to look at is. Whole food grants. And you, you know, I've been taking a look at this. I've been recording <laughs> this video a couple of times. So you're going to see that I've already gone to um, many of these websites that I'm telling you about. Um, but yeah, so with the Whole Foods grant, it goes over um, the store giving, the um, in kind donations, and things like that. So Again, you'll read over this. This is typically for nonprofits. Like I said in a previous video, guys, um, there are grants out there for for profits, nonprofits, and individuals. There's more gears for nonprofits, but if you have a business, I always suggest that you have a nonprofit. Um a nonprofit organization that way your nonprofit can help your for-profit and I can give you more details on how you can do that if you need to set up a nonprofit that's something that I can help you with as well but yes it's so it's so valuable for invaluable for you to be able to know where to look on your own so you can be prepared to do this and you know what it entails so that maybe you can help someone out who you know have um have needs for a grant or free money debt free money i like to call it um so we've looked up retail grants we've looked up grocery grants now we're gonna look up bank grants and every bank has a grant credit unions are different um, the first one that we're going to look up is Bank of America. Bank of America have grants, but I will say when it comes to Bank of America, they are very competitive. Um, so you may want to, not discouraging you from looking up Bank of America, but there are so many banks out there. There's Regions, Chase, Truist. I'm going to look up Truist. They have grants. So you're going to want to just you know, apply, apply, apply. Now, here, again, you want to apply for the grant, but you want to go over it. You want to look up everything that they have on their website so that, you know, I'm going to be repetitive. You want to know what it is that they're looking for. Um, and it tells you about the application and the grant cycles. 
Um, in July, there'll be, it tells you the time frame. Now, when it comes to the time frame of rents, it depends. It can be as early as a month or it can take months to find out. Uh, in particular, like with this um, grant cycle of July 31st, you'll be notified of the outcome in November. Um, November 30th, you'll be notified of the outcome in April. So it just depends on, you know, it just depends on the particular grant, the foundation, wherever you're getting the grant from. So we've looked up uh, the bank grants. So now we're going to take a look at corporate grants. Um, I don't know if you remember, but in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I had applied for um, an energy company, energy company grant. And if you're familiar with energy, they have a grant. And um, again, you want to look at all that information, see who's eligible and everything, the preferences, and apply there. I applied for Demco. I didn't get it, but I applied for it. So it never hurts to try. And then again, in my previous video, I mentioned that you want to try to shoot for 20 to 30 grants a month. That way you um, improve your odds. You have a more of a 90, a 90, 90 to 99% chance of winning those grants if you apply um, for 20 to 30 a month. And when I say there's the option to do grant stacking where you can get a grant from this place, that place, this place, that place, you can stack those grants. Those 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 grants, they add up. So um, we've done that now. We've done the retail. We've done the grocery. We've done the bank. And we've done the corporate. Now we're going to talk about federal grants. Now, federal um Grants are a little different. You're going to go to grants.gov to look for their grants. But when I tell you there are so many grants out there, do you see how many pages it is of grants? Let's, let's, let's look. There's so many things out here. You can switch it for for-profits. Like there's so many grants out here, you guys. It's so many grants. And you can apply for multiple grants, do grant stacking. I can do a video about that and how you will do, you know, grant stacking and um, just, yeah, like how you can um, make, get more out of, you know, your grant proposals and stuff like that. Like if this isn't anything that you need to be afraid of, just use what they have and use what you have in front of you like it's it's crazy for for profits you have about 35 different pages for um for grants um including the nonprofits you have about 97 pages worth of grants so it's just it's so much out there it's so much out there so I'm not going to make this video too long. If this is a video that you enjoyed, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with someone that you think, you know, will find this beneficial. Um, comment what you enjoyed about this video. Comment what you would like to see more of when it comes to me talking about grants. I am so passionate when I talk about grants. I get excited. And I want that to be... Um, portrayed to you all I want you to see how excited I get so that you in turn can get excited like you know get some of that energy grab grab some of that energy up off me and you know use this to your benefit so that is all for today we've talked about how to search and find grants we talked about the retail grants grocery grants grant bank grants corporate grants and we even talked about federal grants in the next video I'll be talking about um more things to come and how you can find other grants that are out there like i said there are so many grants but that is all for today enjoy the rest of your day and please make sure that you like share and comment on this video enjoy